Hi folks, it's Helker X. Well, it's been a while since I've uh, really posted a video. Uh, life has gotten in the way as usual. But uh, I have finally finished up the f complete work on those 15 mil uh, Tiger Terrain Battle of Waterloo buildings. And what you see in front of you is the Hougamont, which I finished up, did some work on. Uh, it's not quite historically looking, but you know, it makes it look really nice and uh, makes it kind of a actual look like it's a uh, working uh, farm or farmstead in the uh, Belgian area during the uh, time frame. And uh, what I did here, let's move these guys out of the way here. As you can see, I created a small orchard here. You got a little, you can see the little bitty apples and stuff on the uh, the trees here. See if I can zoom in a little bit. There, yep, you can see the apples on the trees. A little bit of red in there. That took some little bit of uh, work to do, but yeah, when you go into the details, things have to work the way you want them to do. And uh, as you can see, I created a hedge here. Uh, the hedge was, I have some old, uh, uh, got some uh, furnace um, filter, which I've cut up in the past. I got, oh, enough um, hedgerow stuff that I made up for uh, 15 mil uh, um, Normandy for World War II. So I can create a bocage like look. I have a whole bunch of it still cut up and left over, so I uh, created a small little hedge there. As you can see, the uh, the farmstead here, all the different looks to it. And what I did was I laid out the the perimeter of the fence. You know, so you got the stoneworks, uh, you got the gatehouse here. You got a little bit of um, you can see a little bit of road here where it's been worn down, and uh, And you can see a little bit of uh, dandelion or whatever flowers in the fields. I don't know if that shows up very well in the light, but uh, there's little yellow speckles here and there. So I did all kinds of different flocking. There's oh, four or five different flock, types of flock in here just to give it a different uh, texture so it has uh, different color variations. So that is the Hougamont. And let's move that one out of the way. The big old stuck on a big piece of MDF. Alright, this would be. Um, this is La Haye Saint. And it took me a second here to remember which one's which. This is La Haye Saint. Let's see here. Zoom in a little bit. There we go. And. I created, uh, you can see that the courtyard right here, this right here I think I've showed before in a different video, but it's now um, on a piece of MDF, so you can pick it up and look, so nice and neat little piece of MDF, and you got your little courtyard right here, I took some more, uh, made another hedge out of the same stuff. I put on the uh, Hougamont, which is furnace filter that cut to shape, and then you put a lot of uh, Elmer's glue on it, and then you put your different kinds of flocking on it to give it the uh, the different looks on it. And I got posted the little uh, spruce tree, and then you got your little deciduous tree or whatever it may be, whatever you want to call it. Could be a nut tree for all we know. In the courtyard, and then you have your uh, gates here in the background where uh, it's kind of worn down of the dirt so they they're going in and out of the courtyard with the carriages so that is the uh, La Haye Saint that one let's move that one over here and then we move on to La Haye uh, Farmstead this is on a smaller uh, little uh, board. 
And then you get your track here with the going in and out. And it's a pretty simple one, and you get a smaller little gate in the back. I didn't put very much stuff on this one to, uh, I could have put a couple small trees on them, but I kind of ran out. They're a little expensive to get. So, as you can see all the details and everything on these guys. They look really nice. These are going to make some really nice pieces on the uh, battlefield for any 15 mil terrain. I should... Well, I don't have... should have got out of 15 mil uh, some tanks or something to give you some scale. Because these would easily work for um, World War II, for that matter. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit on this guy. All right. This here is LaBelle Alliance. It's on a little board. And you got your walkways, pathways worn down as they go in and out of the, the doors. So that is just LaBelle um, Alliance. I think the LaBelle Alliance was like more like a small little... Uh, um, not a cafe, what do you call it, a tavern types thing. So, have that. And this is, was it, uh, Papiliot um, Farm? Let me just put this right here. Pink. Blends in nicely. So you could have a small little addition. Let's move this out a little bit. There we go. This is the farmstead. Move this a little bit like that. There we go. And once again, I went with the uh, um, small little orchard out here. We have some apple trees. This looks like a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, pear, like a pear tree. And maybe a nut tree or just Plato tree for shade for that matter. And you have a little area right here. I had thought about making little benches and stuff in here, but I didn't get too ambitious. I just kind of ran out of time when life gets in your way. And then you, guys, oh, you can see the large courtyard. And this little thing will fit in here really nice. And... You know, they kind of fit together. So you could put it like this. Do it this way they line up right like that so you have the gate back gate for the one the back gate here which you can see here lines up with this so it's kind of like you could have two farms so you can make a small little village well you could put things together let's see kind of that nature and slide or slide this one butt it up to the back side and you could create there you go so you have a small little village complex you could put together for that matter and there you go that is my uh, 15 mil uh, Napoleonic uh, buildings that I finished up for somebody a friend of mine and he's really happy so you guys uh, Go out there and have a good day, and I'll get back to work on the next project that's in along. This is Hellcrex. You have a great day.